Hey guys, Cruxel. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be going over yesterday's big update that just dropped later in the day. And this is really only going to be about this huge trade cooldown update that Valve has pushed through, as we all know, and as well as my take on it and just where I stand on this whole topic. Spoiler alert, I'm really not excited about it, and let me tell you why. So this, as we all know, is an obvious jab at third-party services that are using skins and trades, and this covers trade bots as well as marketplaces and mainly betting sites as well. Valve is attempting to eradicate any sort of scams or sketchy doings with their skins, which is fine, and they're trying to to redirect skins and the whole economy back to like a player to player trading market which if you were an OG to skins like I was that used to be how it was also the background footage for today's video is probably just going to be a memory lane of some of my favorite skins I've had over my trading career as well as some relevant information on screen when I talk about it so just don't worry about that so this is their goal with that update but in my opinion the change that they've introduced of having a seven day trade ban after a skin has been traded accomplishes none of the above so the way it works is once you've been traded a skin that skin is on lockdown almost as if you bought it from market for seven seven days before you can trade it again. And in fact, this actually just hurts those who are trying to trade fairly and actual legit traders, and you really can't trade for profit anymore. As waiting seven days in between flips really wouldn't make sense. It would be so risky, especially if you're like making one to $2 profit each time. Obviously, that's gonna slow down your profit margin a lot. You have to be really selective with skins as well. So you pretty much need to be sitting on a pile of keys to get anything you want nowadays with this new change, because let's say someone has your dream skin and you're wanting it. They most likely won't accept your offer unless you have exactly what they're looking for as well because they're not trying to sit on some shitty skins that you have trying to pawn off onto them or skins they're not interested in knowing that they can't trade it for another week so that basically kills the whole trading economy because a lot of times you accept trades that you don't really care for but you know that you're going to be able to flip it right around and get some profit hopefully so fucking rip on that whole thing so as for third-party sites most gambling sites use currency-based systems on their site so yes your items you deposit into their sites will be trade banned but they will most likely have a shit ton of items that are not on trade ban currently that you can select from when you win and that whole situation will really not be ironed out if that is valve's goal with this update which is what it seems to be so overall like i said i really think this could be the death of trading and a massive collapse of one of the biggest digital game item markets that the world has ever seen uh, for many like me skins were a massive part of the game and once they were announced and building your dream inventory or collection or flipping for profit even or for fun was something that was prideful and you work really hard towards getting a nice inventory um and it's really disappointing that i feel that that entire side of the game will be gone here in the future entire trading communities and trading community servers will now be empty as the interest in trading skins for fun is diminished, as well as most likely the value of all skins dropping immensely. I would not be surprised if we see this whole skin bubble just collapse and all the skins become very, very, very cheap. And I think the player base will take a substantial hit if this change is finalized and kept in game. Because at this point, with all the other bullshit going on in CSGO that people aren't agreeing with and the hackers and that whole situation, skins might be the last thing that a lot of people have to hold on to that they enjoy from this game. Of course, this is Valve's game and they are obviously unhappy with where the skins market has been headed, but this is not the way to go about it in my opinion like I said and even the marketplace sites like OP skins are having to find rough workarounds that will end up having a negative impact on the value of skins as well. I actually recently sold all my expensive items in the past few months out of my lack of interest with the game but now that will be even harder as the advent of getting real money for your skins is becoming less and less of a possibility. OP skins recently posted a tweet stating the new procedure for selling items on OP skins because of the new update is that if you deposit a CSGO item on OP skins it will be on our bot but won't appear on OP skins until the seven day trade hold has been lifted. So that's going to be the current system that they're going to be working with and it's a compromise that shouldn't even have to be made because markets like bit skins and op skins have only grown the skins market exponentially and aren't involved in these business practices that valve looked down upon that caused this update in the first place so if you're with me on this topic and agree that this change was the wrong way to go about things thankfully valve have stated in the bottom of this blog post for this update that they are willing to listen to the community feedback which they are about to get a lot of there's currently a petition online being signed by thousands of people which are opposed to this update and it is super easy to sign it took me literally one minute out of my day which is worth it in hopes of bringing back the old school trading back to CS. Also, you can go a step further by writing them an email, which is CSGO team feedback at valvesoftware.com. And there's absolutely no need to be incredibly rude or childish when sending this email. However, make sure that if it's something you're passionate about changing back, then you send them a well thought out mature response. And whether or not you're in agreement of betting or trade bot sites in general, you can probably agree with me that this change doesn't affect those sites as much as it really affects the general trading population. And those of us that want to have a nice collection of skins and trade them at our will, like we have the past couple of years freely. I actually really hope that this is somehow some sort of super early April Fool's joke from Valve, but unfortunately that's not likely. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted, of course, with any new information that we get on this situation, and I really hope that if we can't get this reverted, that we can at least find a middle ground because trading is not something I want to die in this community. I've met too many good friends and had too many good memories due to trading, and it would be a shame to let that go. Thanks for watching.